Good, 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 good morning! It's another Sunday, and we are excited to be in Mavuno Kid Service. My name is Hypsis, I'll be your dance teacher, and of course, the person behind me is Aiki the DJ! And of course, this month you are learning about courageous leadership, where we are going through the book of Esther. And before we go there, right now, about now we are about to dance and just sing and praise Jesus Christ, even as we shall be expecting the next segment. So get some space, and Aiki, do how I taught you. Let's go! Hey, now this song is about saying, I have decided to follow Jesus, and there's no turning back. Are you ready? To follow Jesus, I have decided to follow Jesus. This way, this way, let's go. No turning back. Let's go. Now, one, two, three, let's go. I have decided to follow Jesus. Let's go. No tiny. I keep it to you. This one. Go. I'm gonna follow follow Let's go. Sing this song as we dance. One, two, three. I have decided to follow Jesus. Let's go. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have, I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. Let's go. Hey, this Let me see you swing this way. Go. Now, one, two, three. Clap your hands. Let's go. One, two, three, let's go. Again, let's go. Energy, come on up. One more time, one more time. Let's go. Praise this time, let's go. Hey, clap your hands, go. Walk and clap, walk and clap. Heaven is locked in on this one. Walk and clap, walk and clap. One, two, three, let's go. Hey, come on out, let's go. Nice and simple. Everybody now, one more time, one more time. Let's go. Now let me see you move this way. That's how we worship Jesus Christ. That's how we celebrate in Mavuno Kids service. And right about now, I just want to invite you in a place of worshiping Jesus Christ. Because you're alive in Jesus Christ. You are here because of him. Your family is there for you because of Jesus Christ. He gave his life for you. Because John 3.16 says... That God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Jesus at the and not now, of it all. join us and sing and say, Jesus at the center of it all. Jesus at the center of it all. As we sing side to side and say from the beginning. From beginning to the end, it will always be Only you, Jesus. Come on now, say. Jesus at the center of it all. 
join me as you sing and dance and say, Jesus at the center of it. From beginning to the end. From beginning to the end. It has always been, it's always been you, Jesus. Say Jesus one more time. Jesus. Right now, say nothing else matters. There's nothing, nothing in this world will do. No, let's go side to side. Jesus, Jesus your center. Let's now lift your right hand and your left hand on your chest. Close your eyes Jesus, as you make you it the center of your life. Father, we thank you because. You're a loving God. What kind of love that you gave your only begotten son that whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. And we are here boldly saying we are going to serve outside there because you are the center of our lives. We're going to serve our parents, serve our teachers, our friends. Because Jesus is at the center of our life. Jesus is helping us to do that because we cannot do it by ourselves. And so every boy and girl say this prayer with me. Heavenly Father, I lift my hands to you this day as a sign of surrender. Today I make you the king and I make you the center of my life. Come and shape me. Come and teach me. Come and direct me in your ways. And God's children said, Amen, Amen, and Amen. Come on out. Hello, young and courageous leaders. Welcome to Mabuno Kids. Hello, Ethan. How are you doing? Well, hello. I'm so excited to see you all wonderful leaders. And good morning to you all. Ethan, what's with all this stuff? What's going on? Um, Teacher Jay, uh -huh. you see tomorrow, uh -huh. I have a very serious speech to give at the school assembly. Mm -hmm. And so I want everyone to, to take me seriously. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. But they will take you seriously, Ethan, still. Uh, you just need to have confidence in yourself. <laughs> Confidence. I have confidence in my speech. But uh -huh. you see, I have uh, this big dictionary oh, I see to help right me uh, make up the most difficult vocabulary. Hmm. Um, not even the English professor will understand what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, they'll have to look up the words in their dictionary. <laughs> Ethan, why can't you just use simple English? You don't need a dictionary. Uh, well, I want them to know that I'm a learner. You know, how else will they know that I'm learned? <laughs> you know, oh, before I forget, you see this cool hat down oh, there? Oh, I see it here, the black hat. Is it cool? Oh, it's really cool. I love it. I'm going to wear it too. And I'm going to make sure everyone oh, realizes oh, that I'm oh, the leader. Oh. I'm the big <laughs> boss. Yeah, uh, the big boss. Oh, uh, well, I Ethan. like the, the sound of that. Big boss. <laughs> me. Myself. Ethan, I think you're taking it too far. Why can't you just be yourself? You don't have to exaggerate anything like wearing a hat, using big words, English words. You're a great leader. But, but no, I'm not exaggerating anything. I'm just building confidence in myself. Ethan. I have not even told you about this big bottle of perfume. See that big bottle of perfume? I see it right here. Yeah, it's for my uniform. Uh -huh. All the heads will turn as they look for where the sweet scent is coming from. <laughs> and their noses will lead them right where I am, to me. <laughs> oh, no. What do you think? <laughs> Ethan, I think you got it all wrong. Good and courageous leaders put their confidence in God. In God? Ethan, yes. Not in all these things, perfume, dictionaries, big hats. No. But, but how will God make me look cool when I'm giving my speech? <laughs> now, Ethan.
listen, remember, our series this month is on courageous leadership. And we are learning about a great leader in the Bible known as Esther. Now, when Esther learned that her people were in great trouble, she had to do something. I know, I know, teacher. Queen yes. Esther was so beautiful. Yes, very beautiful. Yes, she must have used her beauty to help her oh. people. Ethan, no. Even though she was beautiful, she put her confidence in God by praying and fasting. Boys and girls, let's open our Bibles and read from the book of Esther chapter 4 and verse 16. Go, gather together all the Jews who are in Susa and fast for me. Do not eat or drink for three days, night or day. I and my attendants will fast as you do. When this is done, I will go to the king, even though it's against the law, and if I perish, I perish. Now, this shows us clearly that Esther did not depend on her beauty to help her people, but she depended on God. Praying and fasting makes us stronger and draws us closer to our Heavenly Father. Oh, Chicha Jane. Yes. I feel so embarrassed. Sure. If a queen can fast and pray to have confidence. Yes. Yet I am here thinking of putting on the cool heart mm -hmm. and the perfume and mm -hmm. just to make me look cool. Oh, I think I got it all so wrong. Well, Ethan, not to worry. Now you know. The Bible in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 7, it also says that, but blessed is the one who puts their trust in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. Wow, what a scripture. I need to memorize that. Yes. You know, I will take some time today and pray mm -hmm. and ask God to give me courage and confidence yes, so that tomorrow yes. uh -huh. I will deliver that speech at the assembly with confidence great. that comes from God. Great, great, Ethan. I'm so proud of you, Ethan. Way to go. I will also be praying for you that the Lord will give you wisdom to lead the other students in school. Oh, yes. Teacher Jane, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Good, Yay! great, great, great. Yeah. Well said. Now, boys and girls, always put your confidence in God and in all you do. In school, at home, in church, be like Queen Esther. Because of her trust, God blessed her with confidence. And because of her confidence, she was able to stand before the king. Yeah, you know, our memory verse puts it so well. Mm -hmm. Be on your guard. Yes. Stand firm in faith. Uh -huh. Be courageous. Be strong. Wow. Let's listen. In, 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 let's listen it in, right? Right. Okay. Hi, boys and girls. How are you? How are you? So now, this is the memory verse of the month. It comes from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 13. And you're going to help me do it by singing and dancing to it. So, Aiki, are you going to do this with us? Let's go. Yay. Hey. You better watch. Stand fast. Be strong and courageous. Be brave. Even as you dance with us. Okay. Okay, now come. One, two, three. So. Watch. Stand fast. Watch, 
One more time. Now let me see you be brave. One, two, three, let's go. Hey. Oh. Come on. Again. the wonderful lesson teacher Jane wow. I will do exactly what I have learned mm -hmm. uh, then I will address the, my fellow schoolmates wow wonderful good job Ethan I'm so proud of you now before we say goodbye let me pray for you dear God as we learn to be servant leaders help us to put our confidence in you I pray that you'll also help Ethan to deliver his speech with confidence tomorrow at the assembly in jesus name we pray amen. 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 amen amen hey my friends we have come to that part where i have to say goodbye but uh -huh. i hope to see you next sunday see you next sunday goodbye and god bless you remember you are a great and courageous leader goodbye Get time! Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? And remember, it's a very simple song. You do what I do and you do what the song says. Simple, simple, simple. But then this one requires you to get off your feet, okay? Are you guys ready? Let's tell the DJ to hit it! Slowly! again boys and girls welcome to another series of courageous courageous leadership i hope you've been learning a lot teacher kevin how have you been i'm doing great uh-huh i totally we need love energy, this teacher time kevin. with this bunch of young leaders yes. i hope that they are learning to lead with courage as we go yes along. yes i'm sure they are did mm -hmm. you know that the persians are the ones who brought the Persian carpet? No, I didn't. I know, like, it's so obvious, I but really I, I, I suspect you didn't know anything about that. <laughs> well, uh, today we get to hear what happened to Queen Esther uh -huh. and the Jews. Uh -huh. Garden boys, are you ready to have some fun? Yes, 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 teacher Kevin. I'm super, super, super excited to hear the Queen Esther story. Yes. You know how she rose from being a regular, humble, lady yeah. girl on the seats of Persia to how she became the big, 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 big queen of this vast and huge and land. huge land of the Persian land where King Xerxes rules. Yes. Yes. That's totally amazing. Yes, I yes, mean, yes. How does that even happen? Uh -huh. You know, that's a know. very thrilling story of how someone rose 
from grass, grass to, to grass. Yes, yes. However, yes. it's really sad that sometimes when we, you know, succeed, mm -hmm. there's always that one person that is not very happy with us, you, you know? know you L know. Like, why are they succeeding and not us, you know? Yes. And Haman was that guy for the Jews. Hey, don't we all know that too well? Now, today we get to remind ourselves how Esther applied courageous leadership from, the, from last week and how she was called and how, and again today we get to learn to see what happened from then. Yes. Today we see her put on confidence in God to save the who? The, the Jews. Jews. Yes. yes, yes, yes. That's right, teacher Janelle. Last mm -hmm. week we learned that servant leaders yes. humbly take oh, the yes? counsel of their advisors. And yes. Esther demonstrated this mm -hmm. by not revealing her background, by the mm -hmm. way, because she had been told, mm -hmm. don't reveal it. Mm -hmm. Like her cousin Mordecai said, hide. They did not know you. Imagine if she had revealed it. It would have been tragic. Yeah, can you imagine totally how tragic? tragic? Yes. She probably would have been smoked out of the beauty pageant. Yes. And, if, and imagine if they found out, if they found out if first you are Jewish. Jewish? Yes. In Persia? That would have been sense. Sense. Yes. so chaotic. So bad, yeah. Oh my God, oh my God. And her cousin would have been flogged, and yes. then he might have ended up being fodder for the lands of. Pajia. Pajia. Yeah. But that's not what happened. So girls and boys, let's turn our books, the book of Esther. Let's turn our Bibles, not our books. Let's turn our Bibles from the book of Esther chapter 4 verse 16. There we find out what happened to Queen Esther's story. Yes. Yes, yes. Are you guys there? Are you guys there? Are you guys there? Yeah. So let's start reading. Go gather all the Jews who are in Susa and fast for me. Do not eat or drink for three days, night, and a day. And my attendant will also fast as you do. When this is done, I will go to the king, even though it's against the law. And if I perish, I, I perish. perish. Wow. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Yes. Leading by example. Oh, my you know? God. Girls and boys, you can see. Mm -hmm. Esther was faced with a challenge. Yes. She did yes. not give up on God. Yes. In fact, she gathered all her buddies, mm -hmm. her family, mm -hmm. and asked them to fast on her behalf. Mm -hmm. And like a responsible leader, yes. she was ready to take full responsibility yes. for what happened next. Yes, 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 yes. That was very, very cool. I'm surprised, Teacher Kevin, yes. that she was ready to die for her people. Imagine, she had barely been a queen. Imagine, imagine. So, young leaders, this is our lesson for today. Like Esther, we will turn to God for guidance every time and just not when you are being faced with challenges. challenges. Absolutely. Yes. Great leaders put their total mm -hmm. confidence in God mm -hmm. through prayer and fasting. Yes. Real leaders don't rely on their own strength. Oh, yeah? Because like Queen Esther, yes. they realize things are best handled with God's help. Yes, that's very, very true, Teacher Kevin. You notice how her confidence grew the moment she turned things over to God. Yes. And it grew, and it grew, and it grew, and it grew. Exactly. That means that when we put our focus, when we remove our focus off our challenges, yes. and put our focus on God, then we become what? Confident. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. So we learn, and, and the confidence is learned on putting our God. eyes on, on God, God, fixing our eyes on God. Yes. And that says that we are supposed to do that. So, Teacher Kevin, yes. from today's lesson, what can we learn? Well, um, good question. One would be the importance mm -hmm. of praying mm -hmm. and committing matters to God. It gives us confidence and wisdom. Mm -hmm. Also, mm -hmm. God gives us faith and courage yes. to handle any situation and put our trust yes. entirely yes. on Him. Yes, I totally, totally, totally agree. I also think it's important to pray together with other people. Yeah, absolutely. You remember like the way Queen Esther did? Gathered she everyone. asked everyone to pray with yes. her. She gathered her friends to pray with her. So boys and girls, let's remember to apply the lesson. When faced with anything, you do what? You ask, ask God, God for, for help. help. Yes, yes, you totally do that. Yes. Yay! This brings us to my favorite part of this I know, right? Mm -hmm. The memory verse. Yay. Girls and boys, please join us as we sing it together. Yay! Hi, boys and girls. How are you? How are you? So now, this is the memory verse of the month. It comes from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 13. And you're going to help me do it by singing and dancing to it. So, Aiki, are you going to do this with us? Let's go! Yay! Hey! You better watch, stand fast, be strong and courageous, be brave, even as you dance with us, okay? First okay, now come. One, two, three, so. Watch, stand fast in the faith. Watch, stand fast. 
guys memorize it yet i really really love our memory verse and with that we've come to the end of our lesson today remember you can now engage with us from any of our mabuno churches near you and let's have fun in the world meet new friends and old friends and guess what we do what so Serve together. Yes, yes 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 oh yes at mabuno kids mm -hmm. you lead you learn, learn and you, you serve. serve yes just like we nesta mm -hmm. for now we meet here same, same place time. same time <laughs> Next week, to continue our series on courageous leadership. Yes. Okay, kids, let's gather around, put our hands together like this, and let's pray. And then you repeat after me. So you say, Dear Lord, Dear God, we thank you for today. We thank you for today. We thank you for the lesson that you've learned. We thank you for the lesson that we've learned. On courageous leadership. On courageous leadership. We pray. We pray. That you'll teach us. That you will teach us. How to constantly. How to constantly. Put our focus on you. Put our focus on you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. amen. See you all next Sunday as we join Queen Esther and Uncle Mordecai. Yes. In finding out what happens next. Yes. God bless you all. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, kids. Awesome. Amazing, amazing. How are you guys? How are you all doing? Welcome to another episode of Test and See by Bo Trivia. Drum rolls, please. Yes. I am Teacher Charlene and so glad you could join us. Hi, Team A. How Team B? How are you guys? Hi all, welcome to the show. My name is Brianna, here representing Team B. <laughs> we smell, this, we smell of victory. <laughs> Hola, Baraka here from T Triple B. Happy and ready to win. Are yes. you guys blue? <laughs> <laughs> so that's Team Brilliant, beautiful and very bold. Team A. <laughs> Hi guys, Lamayan here. Awesome, amazing and adventurous. That's us. Welcome aboard. Hey guys, like you heard, we're Triple A, aka the Chumps, and the only thing I could smell from that side is the smell of defeat. <laughs> you can wash your feet now. But yeah, welcome to the show. My name is Zoe. <laughs> oh, oh, so another episode of Tristancy and you guys are on fire. So uh Remember, Test and See is all about growing close to God by drawing close to His Word. Last time, we went mountain expedition. We, we, cli we went through the mountains in the Bible. How cool was that? Good. Awesome. So today, we take on, on a new adventure. But first, we have some icebreaker for you guys. If you are at home, you can try this. So, this one is called Finish the Sentence. So this is how it goes. I am blessed because... 
Because God is okay. <laughs> Let my hand. I am blessed because for you. God is with me. <laughs> Baraka, finish the sentence. I am blessed because. <laughs> okay, Brianna, I am blessed because. Because God is almighty, powerful, and. Hallelujah, preach sister. Uh huh. Yes, Baraka. Um, You're blessed because Jesus is helping us defeat these losers. Ouch. Okay. <laughs> so as for teacher Shalin, I am blessed because I am alive and I get to hang out with you guys. So you see? Ah, oh, it was not from the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> so that's awesome. So well done for your different blessings, the wonderful things we can thank God for. So today's adventure is taking ra- us right into the water. Like today we are going Ooh. diving swimming, diving, anything that gets us floating on water and swimming as we explore the waters of the Bible. As you can see, some of us are in our swimming gear. I have the glasses. And if you're afraid of water, it's good time to duck. Who here is afraid of water? How many of you can swim? Wow, you guys are way better than teacher Shalene. She can't swim. So (laughs) I can float on water. I can't swim. And look, look forward to having some water adventures with you guys. Remember the rules. The rules are very simple. Rule number one, you get only one chance to answer. And that gets you two points if you get it right. If you get it wrong, we pass it to the other team. Okay. Rule number two, you guys need to let me finish my questions before you answer. And then rule number three, in front of you there are some goodies and some yucky stuff. You win, you get a taste of the good stuff. You lose, you get a taste of the yucky stuff. Okay, so you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Yep. Yeah. So today we start with Triple B team. The first question. Jesus was baptized in this body of water. Jesus was baptized in this body of water. Is it A, Jordan? B, Galilee? C, Mediterranean and D Nile. You can discuss that. How was your answer? Would like to go Jordan. Yes, that's correct. Jesus was baptized in Jordan. Team A. God used this to divide the sea before the Israelites. God used this to divide the sea before the Israelites. Is it A, an earthquake? B, a strong current? C, a strong wind? D, an invisible wall? C, a strong wind. Yeah, that's correct. God used a strong wind a strong wind to divide the sea before the Israelites. Third question. Elijah Elijah drank from this river during a drought. Is it A, Jordan, B, Kidron, C, Kerith, D, River Tigris? I think, I'm not 100% sure, Give I think uh-huh. it's Jordan, uh, that's wrong. That's wrong. Do you guys want to try? <laughs> yep. Yes. Oh, lemon, please. <laughs> uh-huh. I take it in. Uh, tiger. That's correct. You get Ooh. one extra point. Yay. You guys can have a uh, grip. The fourth question, and this time it still goes to you guys. The water of this river stood in a heap. The water of this river stood in a heap. A. Jordan. B. Kidron. C. Cherith. D. Tigris. Jordan. Kidron. Cherith. 
of Tigris. The water of this river stood in a heap. Jordan. That's correct. <laughs> so you guys can have a bite of a sweet thing. You guys need to up your game. The fifth question. Which of the following was not one of the rivers which watered Eden? Eden. Which of the following was not one of the rivers that watered Garden of Eden? A. River Chebar. B. River Tigris. C. River Euphrates. <laughs> or D. River Gihon. Which one was not? A. River Chebar. B. River Tigris. 3. C. River Euphrates. Or D. River Gihon. Gihon, yes. <laughs> Okay. Um, my teammate here claims that it's Tigris. So the question was which one of the following is not one of the rivers that watered the Garden of Eden? Mm -hmm. And your answer is River Tigris. Mm -hmm. No, I've not said it. <laughs> I've not said that. Have level one. Do you want to try? Yeah. Uh -huh. Gihon. Have level one. <laughs> So I the answer, uh -huh. it's Euphrates. Nope. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sheba. So river, Sheba. I don't even think there's a river because river Chebar was the river that did not water at the Garden of Eden. Oh, so we're both wrong. This is why it's never I'm waiting for lemon. What? You guys? Yeah, we've had. We've had. Okay, so so. <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. Teacher, mm -hmm. does it count? No, it doesn't. Since it was not our question. You still got it wrong, but yeah. Okay. But does it count in point? <laughs> no, 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 it doesn't count in point. So, the Nile River was turned to black. Oh, who? Yeah. The, no. <laughs> the Nile River was turned to blood <laughs> on this plague. Is it first? A, first plague. B, third plague. C, fifth plague. D, eighth plague. No, it's you, no. guys. No, it's, no, it's the people. people. Okay. Mm. Yes. River Nile was turned to blood on the first plague. It's not our question. It's a good thing it's not your question. No, we're failing. <laughs> so, the last question for this team. The only disciple recorded as having walked on water. A. John. B. Thomas. C. Judas. D. Peter. Peter. Oh, yeah. So you guys get it right? <laughs> the last question for this team. Due to the flood, Noah was in the ark approximately for how long? Is it A. One month. B. 40 days. C. Six months. D. 12 months. D. 12 months. That's correct. And team A. No. Get all their questions right. That's a foul. How? <laughs> this is illegal. How? So let's celebrate them. Let's all clap for them. I said <laughs> all clap for them. <laughs> I'm not a so winner. Loser so. <laughs> Congratulations. Awesome. Amazing. And adventurous. And adventurous team. You guys did well. You get all your questions right. So that's really. In terms of scoring, you guys. The first episode you guys led, the second episode you guys led, so you're at 1-1. One, one. <laughs> ah, yeah. So, how was your experience with this water expedition? It was good. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad Jesus got to wash their defeat. <laughs> Since Jesus washed the disciples' feet, I'm sure he also washed your defeat. It's crystal clean. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> so it's an amazing time. We have always enjoyed having this wonderful 
episode. Uh, and the lesson learned today was God uses water quite a lot in the Bible. There's so much learning using water. Brianna, do you feel refreshed as the winning team? Yes, I do. Uh -huh. I do. God uses water because it resembles purity. In Ezekiel 36, 25, it says, I will sprinkle clean water on you and you will be clean. The, the, more, we, <laughs> the more we read God's word, the purer we become. Oh, that's really amazing. That's true. First. How about you, Baraka? Did you cast, catch some fish in there? I caught quite a lot. <laughs> yes. Uh, Lemayan, did you enjoy? I got a lot of fish. <laughs> we used the net. <laughs> so, guys, we hope you also had an amazing time with us as we went fishing and swimming today. Always remember, God's word is God's word is water for our souls. It purifies us and also quenches our thirst. Always drink deep and sweep even deeper. That is it for today. Join us next time here in Taste and See. Bye. God bless you all. Bye for now. See you next time. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>